Hello and a warm welcome to Bobble Blocks. Today I'll be reviewing and building a model by the Warrior Company, which is a Lego style plastic building block racing car. This model is classified by Warrior as being for children and adults. Comes with 523 pieces and is currently available for $19.13 or £14.98 of your English finest. I'll leave a link to the item in the description below. This model is obviously meant to be a Porsche 911, but they've relabeled it as a Prosh, with the famous golf sponsored orange and blue racing livery being relabeled as QF to stop any kind of lawsuits. It'll be interesting to see how easy this is to build, as sometimes with these alternative Lego brands, the pieces are harder to fix together and the instructions not so intuitive. As with all my videos, I'll be using one piece that is different from the actual model in some way. See if you can spot it. Leave a comment below to see who gets there first. Right then, fellow builders, with all that serious nonsense stuff out of the way, let's get building! Oh, hang on. First of all, we need to unpack it. To sort out the pieces and check them against the handy inventory in the back. Oh, there doesn't seem to be an inventory. Okay, no mind, let's just sort the pieces out. Right then, with the sorting out of the way, let's get building!
Okay, build done, so time now for a final few thoughts. I'll place a rating on the screen from 0 to 10 for build difficulty, interactive features, number of pieces for your money, and structural integrity of the model, and also place these in the description below. Although this is not Lego, I do really like this set. It looks nice, has some movable parts, and he even has a wind back mechanism to make it go along on its own steam for a bit. It's not for kids though, unless your daughter or son is super good at building this kind of stuff and has amazing patience. I'd suggest this is just for adults really. There's no reason why they wouldn't be able to help though. There are a number of tricky parts to the build and the instructions are a bit, well, weird to say the least. Definitely not intuitive. Sometimes the piece you want to use doesn't match the size chart in the instructions and some of the pieces are too similar to each other for it not to be a bit frustrating. However, I like the fact that it has opening doors, a couple of nice bucket racing seats. The overall detailing is nice. For 15 quid, you can't really go wrong. It's fairly strong as well, so your kids could play with it without too much of it falling off. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Please also like, subscribe and tap that bell button for future content. And if you like the video, share it with your friends too. Have a great day. Bye for now.